The Nightmare on Elm Street franchise includes nine movies, which has prompted some viewers to wonder what order these installments take place in. A Nightmare on Elm Street proved a huge hit when director Wes Craven's iconic slasher horror movie was released in 1984. The story of a serial killer who returned from the dead to haunt the children of his murderers from beyond the grave, A Nightmare on Elm Street's scariest innovation was its villain. Freddy Krueger was a dream demon who attacked the heroes in their sleep, meaning the franchise's teens weren't safe anywhere. The Nightmare on Elm Street movies have remained one of the biggest slasher franchises thanks to the success found in the 80s and 90s. Robert Englund's unforgettable Kruger went down in horror history as one of the subgenre's most memorable monsters, inspiring countless parodies and imitations in the years after the original movie's success. Freddy's distinct scarred visage and his killer one-liners made it so that audiences continued to have an interest in seeing more movies involving him. However, the series' chronology can be easy to forget or misunderstand after nine movies. The Nightmare on Elm Street movies in release order. Nightmare on Elm Street movies released between 1984 and 2010. The Nightmare on Elm Street movies began in 1984 with A Nightmare on Elm Street. This sleeper hit marked the beginning of an impressive run where six movies came out in the span of only eight years. This began with the often misjudged A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge coming a year later, and then a rare gap taken as A Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors epitomized the potential of the franchise by leaning into its outlandish elements. The next two sequels continued this approach, but to diminishing returns, as Dream Warriors secretly ruined the franchise. Freddy was reduced to spouting corny quips and killing celebrities during ill-advised cameos by the time Freddy's dead, the final nightmare arrived. The critically abhorred outing effectively killed any lingering interest in the franchise until original director Wes Craven returned. New Nightmare preceded Scream's meta-takedown of slasher tropes but failed to set the box office alight. The franchise then sought reinvention through the slasher showdown Freddy vs. Jason, only for Kroeger to remain inactive until the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. This is the correct viewing order for when each Nightmare on Elm Street movie came out. While the chronology of the series is a little choppy later on, the series definitively begins with 1984's original A Nightmare on Elm Street. This slasher sees Heather Langenkamp's Nancy Thompson try to work out the identity of the monstrous figure haunting her dreams as he kills off her friends. John Saxon plays Nancy's father, while a young Johnny Depp plays her love interest. The movie features some of the most iconic imagery from the franchise, like Freddy's tongue coming through the phone, or Depp's character being swallowed by a bed. With a 91-minute runtime, A Nightmare on Elm Street earned a whopping $57 million upon release. It is also now regarded as a slasher classic, even if it doesn't exactly satisfy the slasher trope of a masked man stalking the main characters with its many supernatural elements.